Hi guys. Um, this is a look inspired by Patricia Day of the Horror Pops. Um, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I have a big, huge girl crush on her. Her makeup's great. So, if you like it and you want to know how to do it, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on some Urban Decay Primer Potion all the way up to the brow. And a little bit under. And I'm also going to take some Painterly Paint Pot and put that all over my lid. I'm going to take this little tiny brush, just like that, and I'm going to go in with black round paint pot, and I'm kind of going to form this shape, the shape of the black, onto this eye. So, it's a pain in the eye. Just make sure they're even. See? And then I'm just going to start to fill that in. See? That looks really weird right now. But. It actually will work out. So I'm taking some of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in milk and I'm just putting that on the inner part of my eye that's not black. And I'm also going to take my black on paint pot and just go right under my eye with it. So I'm just taking a matte white shadow and I'm filling in so I have that next jumbo pencil. I'm just using gesso for this. So I'm just going to take a matte black. And I'm just going to go over where I have my black on the top. And just blend it into like whatever shape you want. And I'm also going to take the same brush I used for the paint pot. I'm going to grab some of that black eyeshadow. Bring it right over that. And then I'm going to bring it in like that. And then I'm just going to use a big brush and I'm just going to blend that out. So next I'm just going to take another fluffy brush and I'm just going to go into Shroom and I'm going to use that as my highlight and it's going to blend out and a lot of that black. If you feel it's a little too harsh, just go down a little bit farther and it's just going to really lighten everything up. And 
then I'm just going to take a good liner. I like to start at the inner corner and work my way out. I'm going to go into the middle. And then I do that and I kind of connect them. I'm just going to do my mascara and a beard. So that's the eye look. And uh, Patricia doesn't really wear too much on her face. Well, she might, but it doesn't look like she does. So I'm just going to take a well dressed blush. That's just a really nice light pink with a little bit of shimmer. And I'm just going to. Just so I don't look good, because I'm too pale. I need blush. The shirt normally just does like bright red lips. Well, she either does like bright red lips or she does a really nude lip. Um, I personally prefer red lips, so that's what I'm gonna do. But this look could really go either way. If you want it to be really dramatic, go red lips. If you want to like tone it down a bit. I'd go with the nude. So I'm just going to take, this is Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner. I believe the color is just red. And I'm just going to line the outside of my lips. I can't really do this when I talk. And I'm going to do the top lip. I'm going to fill them in. And then I'm just going to use my finger. Um, then I'm just going to take a really deep red. I'm going to use Classic Dane. I'm just going to use a little lip brush for this. And I'm going to go into the tube. I'm just going to start painting it on. So those are the lips. And then if you want to wear a gloss, you can. Um, Patricia normally has, like, the really matte lips. I don't think I've ever seen her with glossy, like, overly glossy lips. She might use a little bit of gloss, but I don't really know. I don't know her personally. She might. Um, so that is my Patricia Day inspired look. Um... I like it. I wear it a lot. Um, I think it's a really easy look to wear. It's a little tricky to do. A little. It's fun though. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.